Hey you guys, it's Megan. Today I'm going to do a not beauty related video. This is going to be my DVD collection and um, after beauty products, DVDs like movies and TV shows are my biggest obsession and then there's shoes. Um, but I love movies and TV shows. I've most recently been obsessed with TV shows probably in the past four years but movies have always been something I've really loved and so I have quite a large collection of DVDs that I um, thought that I would share with you guys just in case anyone's interested in stuff like that um, just to see what types of movies I'm into or TV shows and I have quite a variety of different um, genres that I'm really into. I like sci-fi, romance, comedy, drama, pretty much anything. I really like it. So um, I also wanted to do this today because I just got a new DVD binder because let me show you the old one. This is my old binder. It is completely falling apart. So, and I tried to mend it with um, mustache duct tape, but you know, it's just too old. So, that one is being retired and gonna be recycled. And so, I got this one yesterday at Target. It is a three inch um, binder. And um, I just put this quote that I actually like I cut every letter out of this uh, from magazine clippings and I made this quote so I thought that it was a nice thing to be reminded of every time I use this binder and so it's just a three inch binder and then it has these um cd holders and I actually got these from my mom's old job when that company went out of business. They did a lot of, um, they had A roll and B roll and different like things on DVD. So they had all of these um, separators. And so that's where I got these. Um, I would say if you're looking for something like this, check at staples or any office supply store if you want like cd dividers or um, pages for a binder to make your own dvd binder so this is my favorite way of storing my dvds i also um alphabetize them <laughs> which is kind of crazy um so every time i get a new one i have to go through and redo the whole thing. So I have all my movies first and then I have my um, TV season second. So I'm just gonna go through every single DVD with you guys and um, so you can see what ones I have. And I was gonna sit on this tripod but maybe I can do it just by holding it. So um, first I have Skyfall which is a James Bond movie that is awesome. I love it. And it's oh wait that's oh I thought it was 007 so I put it there. Whatever. Okay so Skyfall that is totally out of order. Then 13 going on 30 which is one of my favorite movies ever. 21. 21 Drum Street which is really awesome and 22 Drum Street was actually really good too which I was surprised in a very good way about. 5050, which is a comedy and drama with Seth Rogen and um, Joseph Gordon Levitt, so that's a good one. Anchorman, what a classic, I love that one. Accepted, that's a good comedy. Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, this is the only Austin Powers movie I really love, and I've seen this one probably like 50 times. The Avengers, what a great like sci-fi type movie. I have seen that one a bunch of times and I've enjoyed it every single time. Away We Go. I haven't watched that in a while. It's like a drama indie film. It's okay. I don't know how many times I'll actually rewatch that. Batman Begins. The B Movie. This is a really good animated movie. Good for kids, but I also enjoy it and I'm in my 20s. So I've watched this a bunch of times and I think it's really, really funny. Then we have The Born Ultimatum, which I want to get the other Born um, movies on DVD, but this one is my favorite. I love that one. It's the third one with um, Matt Damon. Bridesmaids, one of my all-time favorite movies. This is such a hilarious movie. Kristen Wiig is my favorite actress and comedian ever, so um, I absolutely love that and can't wait to see what other movies she comes up with. Bride Wars, that's a good one if you just want like a chick flick with some comedy. Castaway, very, very solemn movie, but a classic. 
Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. That's a good one. Cloverfield. This is a really good end of the world movie. I love end of the world sci-fi movies. That's one of my favorite types of films. And Cloverfield was one of the first ones I ever fell in love with. So I've seen that a bunch of times. And it's cool because the perspective is just like they're basically like they're vlogging the end of the world. So it's it's a good one. I like that one. Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Uh, Dan in Real Life, which has um, Steve Carell. And this is a really good one. This is a good, like, drama with a little bit of comedy. It's, like, about a family. And I thought it was really good, a really good role that Steve Carell has played. Sorry about the bird out there. Um, <laughs> it, it wants to join my video. Date Night. This is another good Steve Carell movie. This has Tina Fey in it. It's super, super hilarious. My mom and I just watched this the other week on FX, and I was reminded how good this is, so I love that. The Dark Knight. Really, really, really good one. And then The Dark Knight Rises, of course. Those movies are so, so good. Love it. Devil Wears Prada. This is a classic. I've seen this so many times I couldn't even tell you. I thought that the, the cast of this movie was brilliantly picked. I love this. The book is really good, but the movie I think is even better than the book, which doesn't happen a lot. Eagle Eye. This one is so good. I love this one. It has Shia LaBeouf. Again, sort of like a sci-fi, not end of the world, but just sort of like a conspiracy theory movie, so that's a really good one. Elf, of course, I have widescreen and full screen. Elf is my favorite Christmas time movie, so I got like the set that had both versions. Elizabeth Town was one of my favorite movies um, in high school, I would say. So this has Orlando Bloom and Kirsten Dunst. It's like a romance drama movie. It's really good. I, I need to watch that again. It's it's a good one. The Emperor's New Groove. I love this movie. It's so awesome. Um, it's super funny. And I actually saw Kronk's New Groove on Netflix, which was very good as well. Enchanted is one of my favorite Disney movies. And it's just a really good love story. It's kind of a good spin on Cinderella. And I just really like it. If you guys have never seen it, I would really recommend that. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. This is like sort of an indie film. This actually has Jim Carrey in it, which I would never have thought of him being in this role, but it is so good. Um, Kate Winslet is also in this, and both characters are really awesome. Fight Club, a classic. This is not a movie that you watch if you want to feel like in a feel-good mood. This is definitely if you're feeling kind of like... I don't know, not down in the dumps, but if you just want something more serious, definitely watch this. It's a very good movie, but very depressing. Finding Forrester, I watched this in high school in one of my creative writing classes, and I've loved it ever since. It's like a really good inspirational story, so that's a good one. Finding Nemo, widescreen and full screen, a classic. Some One of those movies that I have just seen so many times and I could basically quote the whole thing. Fired Up. This is a super, super funny movie. I don't think everyone would think this is funny, especially girls. Probably most girls wouldn't find this very funny. But um, the basic premise is that these two football players go to a cheerleading camp to hook up with as many girls as possible. And just the banter between them is hilarious. The whole premise of it is super funny. And I've seen that plenty of times. It's hilarious. Flight Plan, a good drama movie, and um, that guy, what is his name, Peter Scar Sarsgaard or something, he is so scary in this, like, I'm literally afraid of him, so that's a good one if you want a serious movie. Forrest Gump, classic. Oh, I actually saw at the movie theater yesterday that um, they're having a Forrest Gump, like, showing in IMAX 3D for the first time, because it's like, the 10th or 15th anniversary of this. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Freedom Riders, a really good inspirational movie. Um, I love that one. Galaxy Quest, one of my favorite sci-fi movies. It has a lot of good actors in it, and it's just one that I've seen so many times and I've enjoyed it every single time. Gambit, this is one of my newest movies. Caitlin gave this to me for my birthday, and it has Alan Rickman and... Um, 
oh my gosh, their names are escaping me, Cameron Diaz and the guy who did the King's Speech. Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. But they're all in this. This is a British film and it is so good. It's a drama but comedy at the same time. It's so funny. I love it. If you've never seen it or heard of this, you have to watch that. The Great Gatsby. That one's okay. I don't love that movie that much. Ghosts of Girlfriends Pass is okay. Probably won't really watch that ever again. The Hangover. Gotta have The Hangover. Harriet the Spy. This is my all-time favorite kids movie. This was my favorite movie growing up, and I've watched this so many times, even since I've been, like, in my teens and 20s. I love that movie. Then I have the Harry Potter series. I have um, uh, Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Half-Blood Prince, and The Deathly Hallows Part 2. So I am missing a few in here, um, so I need to figure out what ones I still need to get, because every time I'm at the store, I can't remember, so I never get the ones I need, but love the Harry Potter movies, of course, and The Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 were amazing, but Goblet of Fire is still my favorite. He's just not that into you, a good, like, romantic comedy thing. It's okay. The Holiday, this is a really good love story movie. It's super cute. It It's just a really nice feel-good movie, and I love that one. This is um, Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. Um, that one's a really cute movie for if you have young children or if you just like um, animated movies. I think that's a really cute movie. Horrible Bosses. This is a movie I have to rewatch because it surprised me with how funny it was, so I have to rewatch that soon. The House Bunny. This is a cute movie. I've watched this a few times, and it's just like an enjoyable movie, not really a thought-provoking movie. It's not like great, but it's good. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I think this is a classic staple movie for any girl to have in her DVD collection. Then I have the Hunger Games um, movie, and then this is the special features. Um, I love the Hunger Games. I think that Jennifer Lawrence plays an awesome Katniss, and yeah, so I want to get the second one, if that's on DVD or when it comes out. I Love You Man, another one of my all-time favorite movies. This is a hilarious comedy with Paul Rudd and um, Jason, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Jason... There, there's so many Jasons in the comedy world. I'll just type it down here so you guys can see it, but Jason Siegel. Okay, so super funny comedy. I love, love, love this movie um, with Bridesmaids. This is one of my all-time faves. In Time, this is a really great movie with um, Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried. Uh, sort of like end-of-the-world conspiracy theory movie, futuristic sci-fi. I love it. This is Inception. Gotta have Inception. I have the Blu-ray and normal DVD. Sorry, there's like so much ruckus going on outside. The Invisible. Oh my god. If I could recommend one drama movie to you, it is The Invisible. This one is so good. I first saw this when I was in high school and I have watched this tens, twenties, thirties. I don't know how many times I've seen this. It's so good to me personally, probably because I watched it in high school, so it has good sentimental value, but it's just a really cool, like, interesting topic. Um, it's basically, like, death and, like, life after death and stuff. It's just really cool, so check that out. John Tucker Must Die. This is, like, a girly classic. Gotta have that in your collection. Juno, another classic. I haven't watched that in a few years, but it's a good one to have. The King's Speech. Oh, um... Colin Firth, that's who is in Gambit as well. So The King's Speech, that's a really good one. Knocked Up, really funny, but also, like, kind of serious at parts. I, I really like that one. Knowing is another, like, sci-fi, end-of-the-world movie. That one's pretty good, but I haven't watched that in a long time. This is Little Miss Sunshine. I love this movie. This is one of my favorite comedy and drama movies. Dramedy. Um... <laughs> This one's so good. If you guys have never seen Little Miss Sunshine, you have got to as soon as possible. Love Actually is a really cute romance movie. Love and Other Disasters is 
good. I haven't seen this in a while, so I can't remember exactly, but I remember when I saw it, I just absolutely loved it. So I'll have to rewatch that to refresh my memory. Martian Child is super cute. I really like this movie. It's a feel-good movie. Good for families or adults, whoever. Mean Girls. Who doesn't have Mean Girls in their collection? You have to have Mean Girls. Music and Lyrics, a good romantic movie. It's very cute with Drew Barrymore. My Big Fat Greek Wedding, a crowd pleaser. Gotta have that, especially my roommate was Greek, so I have to have that. Okay, what is this? Napoleon Dynamite. This one is funny. I know not everyone likes Napoleon Dynamite, but I think it's super funny, and I have to have that in my collection. National Treasure, one of my favorite, like, I don't know, adventure movies. It's truly an adventure movie, and I love it. So I have this one, but I don't have any of the sequels because I only like the first one. New in Town. This is a good, like, drama slash romance movie. I haven't watched that in a while, but it's a good one. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Not everyone would like this movie. I'm not even sure if I still like it. Um, it was good when I saw it a few years ago, but I don't know if I would enjoy it now. Nights in Rodanthe. This is based on the Nicholas Sparks book. This is so, so sad. This is a romance movie that will make you bawl your eyes out. Um, every time I see it, I, it's like beautiful but heartbreaking all at the same time. So if you want to cry your eyes out, get Nights in Rodanthe. The Other Guys, another one of my favorite movies. This has Will Ferrell and what is his name? Marky Mark. Mark Wahlberg. Um, so this one is so funny. This is probably my top five favorite movies. I absolutely love the other guys. P.S. I Love You is probably my favorite romance movie. It has um, Hilary Swank in it. It's just so, so good. And Gerard Butler. And it's very romantic. Very, very sad. But it's a good, like, adventure story and also romance, so I love that. Paper Heart, another more indie film. Not sure if I would enjoy this as much. I don't think I like Michael Sarah that much. I used to, but I don't think I do anymore. I just don't think he's as funny as other people, so um, no, don't really like that, like that. Parenthood, good family movie. Haven't watched that in a long time. The Parent Trap. One of my all-time favorite movies. I've seen this like 50 times. It is so amazing. Lilo is awesome in this role. I know that this is a super old movie, but I just can't get enough of this. It's awesome. Pirates of the Caribbean, the original, and then the second one. Um, I haven't seen those in forever, but just in case, I like to have the DVDs of them. Okay, Pitch Perfect. Oh my god, I watched this like 10 times um, two winters ago when I got this. I was absolutely obsessed. I probably watched this with every friend I had because I love it so much. So this is awesome and Pitch Perfect 2 is coming out next year, I believe. The Prestige is a really good drama movie. It's about magicians and it's so amazing. I've seen this a bunch of times. I've never gotten sick of it. It is it's just a really good story. You really have to pay attention, but it's an awesome, awesome movie. Primal Fear. This is a very serious drama movie. Um, if you want something that's very, very serious to watch, this is a good one. Um, I really love Edward Norton, who's in um, Fight Club as well. This is a good one, but definitely not something that I would watch all the time. The Pursuit of Happiness. This is a really good, like, life story. If you've never seen this, this is based on a true story, and it's, like, a feel-good movie. It's, it definitely has its ups and downs, and it's just a good one to see. Sex in the City movie. I love this movie. This is a really good mix of drama and comedy and friendship, of course, if you have watched the Sex in the City series. Um, I just thought that this was a really good movie, even though I haven't watched the whole Sex in the City TV series. It is awesome. You will cry, but you will also laugh, so I love that. The Shawshank Redemption, a really amazing classic film. It's so great. It's definitely, definitely serious, but it is so amazing. 
Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, a good girly friendship film. I do like this one, but don't watch it a lot. The Social Network, I got this. I've only seen it like once. Um, it's okay. I probably won't really rewatch this many times, but I think it's a good one to have just for like historical purposes. Step Brothers, another one of my favorites. Top five for sure. Will Ferrell and that other guy. Can never remember his name. Um, but this is just a super, super hilarious movie. I know not everyone likes Will Ferrell, but I think he is hilarious. So this is one of my top five. Sucker Punch, this is a really good sci-fi drama adventure movie. It's really, really good. I saw this before it opened. Um, one of my friends took me to a showing of it. It was awesome, and so I had to buy it just purely for that memory alone, but it is a really good movie as well. Super 8, a great alien end of the world movie shot in like sort of a vlog style, but it's with kids. It's really, really good. If you have seen the new movie Earth to Echo, this is like a little bit more mature version of that same premise. So I love this movie. It's so good. Talladega Nights. This is just a funny movie that I have. I don't really ever watch this. The last time I... I watched it was probably like three years ago, but just in case I want to watch it one day, I have it. The Town. Oh my gosh, such a good drama movie. So amazing. If you've never seen this, it's about like robbers and it's it's based in Boston. It's just really good. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it is awesome. Check that out. Tron, a really good sci-fi movie. I absolutely love this movie a lot more than I ever thought I would. I think that the whole idea of it is really cool and the execution was awesome. So Tron is one I really recommend. Up, oh my gosh, Up is such a good movie. It has really sad parts but is mostly really, really amazing, like really happy and uplifting. So definitely check this out if you've never seen it. It's one of my favorite animated movies and one that I should rewatch soon. Up in the Air is one of my favorite dramas. It has George Clooney in it, and it's just a good, like, it's sort of like a love story, but it's like adventure as well, and it's it's just an interesting movie, so check that out. Uptown Girls, I haven't watched this in many years, um, so I can't remember exactly what it's about, but I think it's like sort of a feel-good sort of drama movie. Vantage Point, this is about, like, um... I think there was an attempt on assassinating the president in this movie, and so it, the whole thing is that the perspectives of all these people are shown throughout the movie, and I think that it's an interesting concept for a movie, so I did like that. While You Were Sleeping, I got this as a present from my aunt and uncle, and we watched this one time on TV, and I really loved it. It's a really cute um, romance movie, so I have to rewatch that soon. You've Got Mail is my all-time favorite romance movie. It's my favorite love story that has ever been in a movie. Um, Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. This is amazing. This is from the 90s, I believe. It's one that I grew up with, and I have never liked it any less than I did way back when, so this is my favorite romance movie. And then my last DVD is Zoolander, which I think is a classic to have. Um, I don't really rewatch this, but so many people talk about this, so I had to get it, and I think it's pretty funny. Okay, moving on to my um, TV series. So I have Breaking Bad. I have season one, um, two, uh, three, four. Okay, so I have up to the fourth season. Breaking Bad is amazing. It's everything people talk about. It is so good. I know some people can't really get into it. They just don't like it that much, but I absolutely love it. It's one of the best TV series I've ever seen, and I was so upset when it ended. So I want to get the rest of the seasons on DVD. Those will definitely be added to my collection at some point. My favorite comedy series that was unfortunately discontinued is Happy Ending. So I have the first season and the second season on DVD. If you guys have never seen this, you have to look it up online. It is hilarious. 
And I just recently rewatched um, the first and second season with my sister who had never seen it. And I think she really enjoyed it. She thought it was super funny. And yeah, super recommend this. This is amazing. And if the third season, what like part of the third season that was aired, if that's on DVD, I want to get that. Then I have House. I have season two, season three, season four, season five, um, season six and season seven. Um, I don't have season one, and I think there was a season eight. If not, um, there was only just seven seasons. House is one of my favorite shows. Um, my ex-boyfriend got me into this, and I was absolutely obsessed. I haven't really re-watched the series. I probably will at some point, since I have, like, all the DVDs. Um, this is a really good drama, but Hugh Laurie is also hilarious at the same time. So this is a really solid series. I was really upset when this ended as well. Um, but it kind of has, like, sort of negative memories because my ex-boyfriend did introduce it to me. So that's the only thing. Then I have How I Met Your Mother Season 5 and Season 6. I only have these two seasons because they were on sale last year or two years ago on Black Friday. That's when I buy most of my um, TV seasons on DVD. So I only have the two of the last seasons or the middle seasons because isn't there like 10 seasons of this show? I'm pretty much over this show. I thought that most of it was really, really funny, but then it started just going downhill the longer they drew it out, so I'm um, not sure how much I would really rewatch these DVDs in this series, but I did think a lot of the episodes were really funny. I was absolutely obsessed for a while, so that's why I have those. Then my favorite show of all time is Monk, so I have season one, season two, season three, <laughs> season four, season five, season six, and season seven. There is eight seasons. I don't have the eighth season on DVD, but I do intend on buying that. Um, this is just my favorite show ever. I need to rewatch this series. Um, Tony Shalhoub is amazing in this. It's about an obsessive compulsive detective I love this show. The supporting characters are awesome. It's just a show that I basically watched all the way from beginning to end while it aired, and I love it, so gotta have Monk. Then I have Project Runway Season 2 on DVD. This was my favorite Project Runway se season ever. Um, I think that it just had the best variety of people. This had Santino in it. It had Andre and um, Daniel Vosovic, who was probably one of my favorite designers they've ever had. So I love this, and I'm so glad that I have this on DVD. Then the last TV show I have on DVD is The Office. So I have season one and season two. That's it. That's all I have, season one and season two. Um, I need to rewatch this. I'll probably rewatch this on Netflix. Um, but I do love The Office. I love all of the characters. I think Michael Scott is hilarious. Um, Steve Carell was perfect for that role, so I love this show. Okay, so that is the end, like you can see, of my DVD collection. This was a long freaking video, so I hope all of you DVD TV show movie junkies out there really like this. I don't know, I thought that it would be kind of fun to document what movies I have because I know that my collection will grow and change um, over the years. So I thought that I would document it and maybe some of you guys enjoyed this. So if you did, please let me know and please tell me your favorite movies and TV shows because I am always up for hearing your suggestions or getting recommendations on new shows to watch. I especially like drama, TV shows, and comedy, but I mostly watch drama shows like all the way from beginning to end. My sister and I are watching White Collar right now, which I love, and I do intend on watching Suits eventually. So anyhow, that was my DVD collection. I hope you guys like this, and um, if you have ever posted a DVD collection, please link it down below because I really like watching those movies just to hear people's thoughts on them and also to see what types of movies they like. So let me know about that. 
Um, thank you all so much for watching. Seriously, I know this was unlike most of my movie, most of my movies, most of my videos since most of mine are about beauty, but this was about DVDs because this is my other obsession. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I'll see you really soon. Bye!